here is the sky, here are my friends, and here am I. We acknowledge that the land that we learn, play and tell stories on today are the lands of the Kulin Nation. I'm here to share a really special preschool story time with you today. It's special because this week is Science Week, so I thought it would be really cool if we could share some books and sing some songs that will help us learn all about the ocean and the amazing creatures that live in there. So to start, we're going to sing My Hands Say Hello. My hands say hello, my hands say hello, every time I see my friends, my hands say hello. What else can we say hello with? What about our feet? My feet say hello, my feet say hello, every time I see my friends, my feet say hello. Well done everyone. All right, we might sing one more song before we get into our stories. Let's sing Open Shut Them. Open Shut Them them open shut them give a little clap open shut them open shut them lay them in your lap creep them creep them creep them creep them right up to your chin open wide your little mouth but do not let them in all right are you ready to hear a story the first one we're going to read is called Can I Give You a Squish by Emily Nielsen. Kai gave his mama a big squish. What do you think a squish is? I think it might be a mermaid word for a cuddle. I love giving squishes, he said. The rest of the morning, Kai gave out squishes. He squelched some kelp. Kelp is a type of seaweed. And squashed a rock and scrunched some buried treasure. He even gave his friends a big group squish. That looks nice. Then Kai saw a little puffer fish he wanted to squish. Very cute. And the puffer fish saw Kai. Oh no, this puffer fish looks a bit scared. Maybe this puffer fish doesn't want to cuddle. Squish! Suddenly the fish puffed up like a big water balloon, which is what puffer fish do when they are scared or upset. I do not like to be squished, said the fish. Kai felt terrible. All he had wanted to do was give a friendly squish, but it had gone horribly wrong. The fish had not liked the squish at all. Maybe there is something else you can give besides a squish to show that you want to be friends, said Crab. But what? The friends thought and they considered and they pondered, which are all words for thinking or wondering. And at last, it came to them, a fin bump. The puffer fish was still hiding when Kai swam up. Excuse me, said Kai, I see you don't like squishes. Would you like a fin bump instead? The fish became calm. Look, he's not puffed up anymore. I like getting fin bumps, said the fish, and I like giving them, said Kai. What about you three? What do you like? I like to do tail claps, said the dolphin. Me too, said Kai. I think that's a bit like a high five. I like tentacle shakes, said the octopus. So Kai gave him one. Does anybody want a claw pinch? Asked the crab. Might be a bit pinchy. Maybe just a little one said the octopus. That's when Kai realised every fish likes their own kind of squish. And look at all the amazing sea creatures we can see on this page. A whale, some narwhals, lots of little critters that live at the bottom of the ocean. It's a beautiful picture. 
Kai went to find his mama to show her what he had learned. He gave her a fin bump and a tail clap and a tentacle shake and even a little claw pinch. Thanks, Bubble, but I think I would rather have a squish. Okay, Mama. And Kai gave his mama a great big squish. Oh, that looks nice. Thanks for listening. How about we sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. What about we row across the river and if we see a jellyfish, don't forget to shiver. Row, row, row your boat gently across the river. If you see a jellyfish, don't forget to shiver. Shiver, 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 shiver. Well done. How about we go across the stream and if we see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Row, row, row your boat gently across the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Good screaming, everyone. All right, I've got another book for you now. This one is called Sea by Britta Teckentrop. Gleaming and sparkling, the coral sea is a place of magical mystery. As the ocean's tides ebb and flow, a secret world lies deep below. A small fish swims among the weeds. They provide the shelter that he needs. As sponges blow and grasses sway, the fish continues on his way. Can you see this little clownfish here? Two tiny seahorses, tail to tail, float along on a bubbly trail. They may be small and very slow, but calmly, gracefully, on they go. A baby dolphin swims with her mother. They leap and dive around each other. Communicating with chirps and clicks, they perform their acrobatic tricks. Lionfish swims through the sea with pride. With his feathery fins, he cannot hide. But his secret weapon went under attack. The poisonous spikes along his back. I wouldn't want to run into a lionfish. Rippling, gleaming through the night, the ocean sparkles with magic light. Jellyfish, eels and manta ray dance in a colourful display. This looks like it might be at night or deep down at the bottom of the ocean. The humpback whale is the ocean king. The fish pause briefly to hear him sing. The ocean fills with an enchanting sound as the whale song echoes for miles around. That sounds beautiful. The little fish swim by a manatee, the strangest creature in the sea. In an ocean meadow, seagrass sway as the seabed babies swim and play. This precious coral can provide a place for ocean life to hide. Let's keep our oceans clean and clear and protect our friends whose homes are here. Thanks for listening. Beautiful pictures in that one. How about we sing another song? This one's called Here is the Sea and it goes like this. Here is the sea, the wavy sea. Here is a boat and here is me. All of the fishes way down below wiggle their tails and away they go. You might sing that one one more time. Here is the sea, the wavy sea. Here is a boat and here is me. All of the fishes way down below wiggle their tails and away they go. Go. Wonderful. Thanks for singing along with me. 
So instead of doing a craft or making something like we normally do, I thought I would show you some of the things that you can see if you ever visit the beach or see the beach on TV. So the first thing, we've got two different kinds of things. Here I've got some shells. You can see this one, it's a beautiful swirly pattern. And this one is almost all rubbed away by the sea. And that's really interesting because that's how sand um, comes to exist because it's all just crushed up little pieces of shell that have been pushed along rocks and hit by waves and they slowly disappear and turn into little grains of sand. I've also got a nice rock. It's a bit of a heart shape. A sea sponge, which is a type of creature that lives in the sea. A bit of seaweed, like in that book we just read. The other kind of thing that I have See if you can work out why this is a bit different. We've got some bits of glass here. They look really pretty because they've been like the shells rubbed by the waves and all the other rocks and bits and pieces in the ocean. They're really smooth and pretty. I've got a brown one here as well. And a little bit of rope might have come from a boat or someone fishing. So the difference between these things is some of these things exist in the ocean and they become homes for animals. And they're good things to have in the sea. Other things like the glass and the rope are little bits and pieces that humans have thrown away that have ended up in the ocean and they're not really supposed to be there. So that's why we've always got to be really careful about what we leave at the beach. And if we see rubbish, we can always get a grown up to help us take it home and get rid of it. All right, I've got one more book for us to read. This one's really funny. It's called Fish Jam by Kylie Howitt. It goes like this. This is Toot. scuba doo ba doo -ba -dee doo Shh. What was that? I think this little fish has told Toot to be quiet. Nobody wanted to play with him. Beep, bop, bubbly, boo. Shh. This seal has told Toot to shush as well. Scuba, shh. Dooba, shh. Scuba, dooba, diddly, doo. Even these penguins are telling him to be quiet. He was way too noisy, they think. Look, he's swimming away with his little pufferfish friend like the pufferfish we saw before. <sighs> I think Troot's a little bit sad that no one wants to hear him sing. Beep, bop, beep, bop, bubbly, boo. All these big scary fish are telling him to shush now. Where can he go to sing and just be himself? Ah! Until one day, do, 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 uh, do, do, do. Huh? Something unexpected happened. This looks like a whale and Toots right here in the whale's mouth. I think he's inside the whale now. It's very dark. We can see his little eye and his pufferfish friend's eyes. Hmm. Clickety click. Clickety click. There's some light and some noise coming from the other end of the whale. Scuba dooba diddly doo. Clickety click. Clickety click. Beep bop bubbly boo. Clickety click. Clickety click. These look like they might be some crab claws. Is there a crab here somewhere saying, let's jam? And he never played solo again because 
Look at all the other musical fish and sea creatures that are inside this whale. They've got a whole band. Scooba dooba diddly doo. That's the end of the tale. Thanks for listening. I really liked that one. We've run out of time today, so it's time to sing My Hands Say Goodbye. My hands say goodbye, my hands say goodbye. Every time I see my friends, my hands say goodbye. What about we say goodbye with our heads as well? My head says goodbye, my head says goodbye. Every time I see my friends, my head says goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more projects and videos, you can visit our website, which is cclc.vic.gov.au, or you can just search for Casey Cardinia Libraries on YouTube. Bye.